Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be upgrading the YouTube studio and getting rid of my folding chair. So this thing has been with me for quite some time. Don't really know why I have not upgraded this thing yet. I've actually just moved, upgraded the entire studio, and I've also gone full time as of May 3rd. And so I'm actually pretty excited to get a bunch more videos and content out to you guys. And one of those easy, comfortable ways of doing that is by getting a brand new gaming chair. So GT Throne was able to reach out and help me out with this one. I sent off a tweet stating, help, I need help getting rid of this folding chair tagged multiple different companies and GT Throne came out and sent me a chair. I'm super excited to share it with you guys and I'm also working on trying to get a discount code as well so if you guys type in a code you can get some percentage off so if I did get that code it'll be listed right here. Other than that I'm going to go upstairs set this chair together do a little bit of a time lapse also show you a little bit of putting it together. It doesn't look that bad at all but it looks super comfortable and extremely nice. Now checking out the website there is a few different things I do want to show you guys so if you check out the link below the video or if you just go to gtthrone.com you'll notice that there's two different colors if you go for the one that I chose this one is the bold gold or you can also go black on black. Now also another thing I do want to show you is that for the price of $475 if that's just a little bit too much that you'd be able to do for one payment there is an option which I think is an amazing option you'd be able to do four separate payments of $118 and they're all interest free. So if you'd like to know just a little bit more about that, if you click on quad pay, uh, you'd be able to see that you'd be able to pay today and then in two weeks, four weeks and six weeks, all at individual payments of $118.75, you know, bringing you to that full amount. Now you will get this as free shipping, it usually delivers within two to five business days by FedEx. Um, but a couple of the features I do wanna talk about is for the frame, it is a steel frame with 10 inch high density foam. A couple other things I do wanna mention is that the heavy duty hydraulic pump is able to go up to 350 pounds with a 140 degree sit incline with a locking mechanism. And then also when I mentioned that it vibrates, there is three custom GT Throne actuators. So basically as you throw, you, if you scroll on down, you'd be able to see a little bit more of the um, dimensions, some of the other support. And then this is where you'd be able to go that full 140 degree uh, uh, decline or recline all the way up to 350 pounds. So you can go through, you can read just a little bit more, but I did want to show you that it, uh, the weight limit is at 140 degrees with 350 pounds, along with some of uh, the other stuff on the top, especially with quad pay. So again, don't let the $475 push you away. If it is a little high, even though most chairs are about this price anyways, you're just getting a little bit more with this chair but with the ability of doing four interest-free payments of only $118. And with a name like GT Throne this chair sounds super spiced so let's put it together and let's check it out. Now setting up the chair isn't bad. After I've gone through the process, there is 12 individual steps, which each individual step is going through each individual piece, which makes it super easy and pretty quick to go through the instructions. Step one is attaching the wheels to the base by pushing and clicking in. Step two is installing the hydraulic pump into the center of the base. Step three is removing the backrest side screws with the Allen key. And then step four is by lining up the back headrest with the side of the screw holes. So then this way you'd be able to screw in the side metal brackets. Step five is tightening those screws to secure the backrest to the seat base. Step six is to fix the plastic covers to the sides of the metal brackets. Attach the seat covers first, then click the side covers into the seat cover. And I found it extremely simple and easy to take both of the plastic pieces for the left side and snap them into place and then place it onto the chair to screw them in. Step seven is attaching the metal mounting plate to the GT receiver with four small screws included with the mounting plate. Step eight is lining up the armrest bracket it to the bottom four holes on the left side. This is where you place in the GT receiver bracket on top of the armrest using the Allen key. Tighten the four screws with the washer on the outside. So make sure once you place in the armrest on the left side and then you place on that metal plate which is holding the receiver, then you place on the washers to screw them in. Step nine is attaching the other armrest on the right side without the GT receiver. 
So just notice that the width of the armrest can be decided when screwing into the bottom of the chair. Step 10 is attaching the actuator wires to the back of the GT receiver. This is where you take all of those wires that are, are loosely basically hidden inside of the chair. You'll have two of them on the bottom of the seat and then one of them that's attached to the lower back of the seat itself. Step 11 is fix the metal control unit to the base of the seat. There's four screws. They've already been fixed into the seat itself prior to the delivery. So you just wanna turn those ones and screw them out and then place in the actual metal unit. And then step 12 is inserting the hydraulic unit into the opening of the control unit. And the control unit is the big metal piece that allows you to lift it up and lift it down. Once you take the cap off the end of the hydraulic unit, All right, so what do you guys think? This is the new chair, this is the new setup, the, the new look of the Jimmy's Promo YouTube Studio. And a huge thank you and shout out to GT Throne for sending off this chair. I sent off a tweet stating that I needed to get rid of my foldable chair, which a lot of you have commented. Um, and also I've heard it quite a few times in my videos where if I rewatch a video, I'll hear a little squeak from the chair itself. So I'm glad that I have something that's definitely more quiet, it's comfortable, it's, it's stable, it's it's a solid chair, everything moves and sits the way it's supposed to. And there's actually all these electronics, a part of it that I didn't really know, or I didn't notice it from the very beginning that lets you get immersed in whatever you watch and listen to. So if you're listening to music off of your Xbox or your PC, or if you're watching a movie on Netflix or something, or you're playing your gameplay, if it's uh, a racing game or a shooting game, you're gonna feel everything in this chair. And also when I did connect connect my headset um, to the very front of the processor itself, I was able to get fully immersed to the situation or, or to the, the point where I thought that I was so loud. So it was about 1.30 in the morning when I was playing with this last night, or I should say this morning. I thought I had to turn things down, but I didn't have to. I had the headset on, this thing was vibrating. Um, it's just, it just gets you into the moment of whatever you're doing. It gets you into the game, it gets you into the movies, into the music, it just gets you into the moment. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's comfortable, it goes all the way back. Uh, so if you pull the lever, bam, oh, then now you can sleep. And then basically when you get on right back up, um, I mean, this thing just flies up. I can't really go all the way straight back because then I'll run into everything behind me. But a couple of the things that I do like about it is that with the lumbar support, you can really place it anywhere that you need. So if you are working, if you're shooting videos, doing your gameplay, you can have it on the bottom. And then if you get a little uncomfortable, you can bring it up just a little bit. Uh, you can bring it up just a little bit more. For me, sometimes I sit not all the way back in the chair. So I might push it somewhere around here to kind of push me just a little bit forward. You'll also have this small little pillow right here. It's very comfortable, very squishy. Um, so you can also use this as well. Um, if you would like to show off your emblem of the GT throne, you'd be able to take off the pillow. But I found that I love the pillow on the top. So sometimes this will be kind of blocking, you know, that, that, that logo right there. But you know what? I'm here also for comfort and, and using it for my needs and everything else. Now I'm a little bit too tall. <laughs> there we go. So this is where I wanted to get up and pretty much show you the setup. So underneath the chair right over here, you're going to notice that this one is red, which means that it is powered off. And then basically once you turn this one, then you're able to have it paired over into the uh, processing unit by itself. So this right here is just changing the intensity of the vibration inside of the bottom seat of your chair along with the back of the chair itself. So it really immerses you inside of the gameplay. Now the one thing I do like that was added in is this little trip wire. So if you turn around and it kind of gets stuck inside of the little spindle on the bottom or the wheels, or if you step on it, this is going to be your trip wire. So then this way it would be able to come off without having to plug out um, the entire component itself. So moving over, this is the setup that I have. You're also able to clean it up a little bit better if you would like to. Um, so I'm probably going to hide these uh, cables somewhere else. But it's really nice that it has the digital optical cable plugged in, also through the power here going into the front of the processor itself. 
Now, if you are playing a game and you would like to have one that is connected with a microphone, um, that is where you would be using that pink hole right there on the very top. Um, this one right here is mostly just for speakers and headsets. And then if you do have to have something where you want your your mic and your headset to be plugged in, you can just easily just get a splitter. Um, but that is pretty much how I have my electronics set up. Now this one is going to control the volume of the headset. So if you go through here and if you'd like it to be up all the way, you can have it up all the way. You can have it middle. Uh, so again, this one right here, which is the processor, is controlling the sound of how loud your headset is with the receiver underneath the chair. This one is controlling, again, the vibration of how much you like to feel. If you're watching Netflix or watching a movie, especially if you're doing it with through the Xbox or even a PS4, um, let's say that you're playing a game, whatever the case may be, um, I use this and tested this with playing games, with, with watching Netflix and everything else, and it actually fully immerses you in, and it's actually super fun. Pretty freaking fantastic. I didn't know how well it was going to be until I actually opened up the package. So when I saw it on the internet, when I saw pictures of this, when I checked out the website, um, in person, this thing is way better. Um, it looks a little similar to other office chairs that you would see in like, you know, uh, a Staples or an Office Depot or, or anything like that, uh, Walmart, Target. But this one, when you actually sit down, you can just feel the quality uh, and you can see where that $475 comes from. And so it's not just a chair, it's also a vibration motor underneath the seat and in the back uh, rest of where you basically lean back. And so this just adds to the experience of whatever you're gonna do. So if you're gonna game, and you don't, or even watch movies or music or whatever it's gonna be, anything that you do that's entertainment wise, if you just sit and you watch, you're really not getting immersed. You could be comfortable, but you're not really getting into what you're doing. And so then this way, when you actually get this chair, it has the vibrations, uh, it just gets you into what you're doing and it just enhances the experience. It's so much, it's, it's so cool. You guys just have to check it out. So other than that, um, I hope that you guys have liked this video. I hope you guys like the chair. I hope you guys like the new setup. Again, thank you so much to GT Throne for sending off this chair. Uh, again, if you guys are interested, go to right below this video. There will be a link. You can click that. Um, also, make sure you guys use this code right here to get your percentage off of the chair. Uh, and I'll also link that in the bottom description as well, too. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.